On this episode of World of Mike, and we are heading to the Magic Kingdom. There is a eclipse today, April 8, 2024. We're going to take a closer look at that. This is Sunny Eclipse, and we're also going to be talking about the history and forgotten history of the Mike Fink keelboats that once sat in Frontierland here at Walt Disney World. Made it to the front of the Magic Kingdom. I have been here quite a bit this year, and I'm stoked on that but i do love this park and there's some rich history in this park and that's what the today is all about rich history with the mike fink mike fink that's a hard name to say mike fink keel boats as the train is coming in on this historic day eclipse today we're gonna have a solar eclipse and what better way to celebrate than to visit sunny eclipse and then go over and talk about the Mike Pink fuel boat. Man, what a beautiful day. Oh, and also with me is Travis. Doing what some up? old school work here today. Oh, taking yeah. some photos. Breaking the old camera out. That's it, man. It's yep. awesome. I was talking about the eclipse. We're going to go see sunny eclipse. And then we're going to talk about the Mike Pink fuel boats that used to go around Frontierland, the rivers of America. Now... Let's take a closer look. It's really pretty here in the springtime. They plant all these flowers. It's like a whole vibe out here. This is right out front of City Hall here. And there's no way I'm coming to Magic Kingdom on an eclipse day and not visiting Cosmic Rays. I have to see Sunny Eclipse. Hey, Cosmic Rays. There he is. I was What's up? kidding about the Rays, man. Actually, folks, Ray pays me weekly. Very weekly. And speaking of money, you know, romance is the same in every galaxy, on every planet you go. Boy creature meets girl creature, stars in their eyes. Well, you know the story. I'd like to dedicate this next number to my girl. Uh, she has the most beautiful purple eyes. All six of them. She has almost perfect eyesight, too. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 19. Pretty good. That's not all. She has 12 nostrils. Today is your day, Sonny. I'll tell you, that girl really blows me away. October 1st, 1971, this place opened. A lot of attractions opened with it, including the Mike Fink keel boats. And just like over here in Tomorrowland, there was another mode of transportation that was just a little ride around some waterway here at the Magic Kingdom. The Swan Boats used to be here as well. I did a video on those recently. Check that video out if you haven't. But let's travel over to Frontierland and revisit the Mike Fink Kill Boats. Interesting, they took the Frontierland sign down right here. This is where it normally hangs. You can see the little hooks. Anyways, this over here, for those of you who did not know, is called the Little Mississippi. That is the Little Mississippi River. It flows down underneath this bridge, straight across to the old Harper's Mill. If you came over to Frontierland, you'd probably step in here, take a couple of shots, this is a free play, by the way. Let's see. You just you just pick it up and play? Okay. I'm gonna do it. One-handed. Got it. First shot. And you had a B ticket, and you could pick any attraction on the B ticket. You probably did the Mike Fink Kill Boat. They also had this exact same attraction at Disneyland. And even though we really don't have a whole lot of Davy Crockett tribute here in, in our frontier land, even though they just were playing the Davy Crockett theme song here, from 1971 to April 29th, 2001, just like this style of vehicle, you could have ridden on the Gully Wumper or the Bertha May all around here on the rivers of America in frontier land. Let's head over to Tom Sawyer Island, but first, Look at one of my favorite hidden names, right there. 
Here's a fun fact for you for about me. I have an Aunt Polly's refreshments corn dog wrapper, unused, from Aunt Polly's around like opening opening year in my collection. It has Harper's Mill, the windmill on it. it, has several little landmarks on it from Tom Sawyer's Island. We're packed like sardines on this raft. It looks just like this little hidden one over here made out of blocks. Looks like something Tom or maybe Huck Finn would have created. Still waiting on that eclipse. It's supposed to be starting soon, around 1.45. I know they were free floating vessels that would actually go right here along the, the rivers of America banks. And you could sit on the top, like seriously sit on the top of either the Gully Wumper or the Bertha May. Or you sat down the, the little bottom area with the captain. Disney would never do that now. And just like the Liberty Bell, it would go around the rivers of America. I don't know if it did like a complete trip around, if it like went down and then turned around and came back. But this is on a track. The Mike Fink keelboats were not. You can see here's another dock over here. I don't know if this was used for the, the keelboats or not because I do know the dock still exists right there. So did it have multiple docks here? I'm not 100% sure. But it sat right here next to the Haunted Mansion now this is used as the a part of the extended queue, but you would walk down and then you would board your, your keel boat and make your way down the rivers of America here. Now the barrel bridge is closed, which is a, a major bummer because I really wanted to walk across this, but I think they're, they're actually redoing it. Look at that, adding new things to it. But there's a photo, publicity photo, not a publicity photo. This was taken from someone. I wish I knew the family who took this but there were kids. Look oh look, lizard. the like, lizard's doing it. He's like, I, I'm not taking You're breaking the answer. rules, dude. <laughs> but there's a photo of kids crossing this and the photo was taken right over here in front of that little waterfall with the Haunted Mansion in the background. Let's match that photo up. Oh yeah, dude, everything here is, is angled on purpose. But there's the mini inspiration falls and the photo was like right around here. There it is. The kids crossing, the old dock to the right, the Haunted Mansion to the left. Here's another angle of the old dock right there. I wonder what was used in that little uh, barn door there with the hang. Like, did they, I don't think they could store one in there. Those things were pretty big. You know what I'm talking about right here? I wonder what was in that what that was used for, but that's the old dock. Still sitting there today. And there's another little dock area here. I'm not sure if this correlated with the keel boats or not. There's another angle. Right there, that's pretty cool. Good shot of Big Thunder here. And the funny thing is, all the, the photos and stuff I found of the Mike Fink kill boats, I never saw them really around here or in front of Big Thunder. It's mostly pictures from around here. But now there's all this talk and permits being filed for things that are going to be potentially coming to this backside here of the rivers of America. This attraction was based off of two Davy Crockett films, Davy Crockett and the Keelboat Race, and Davy Crockett, King of the River Pirates. Now these were two Disneyland shows, and in the, the Keelboat Race, he's racing against Mike Fink. Davy Crockett wins, and he, he, re, he beats the Gully Wumper, is what he does. Davy Crockett's in the Birth of May, and he beats the Gully Wumper. And in the second film they made, the Disneyland movie they made, Mike Fink and Davy Crockett actually team up together. 
and they solve a mystery. So Walt Disney World and Disneyland were like, you know what? We made these films. People know this character. Let's make this attraction. I love it. And instead of basing an entire attraction on Davy Crockett, you base it off a character who's in the two films and you bring the attraction here. You take the bully from the Davy Crockett films and you make an entire attraction around him. All right, we're gonna hop aboard the Liberty Bell here as it's going around the rivers of America. And we're gonna go see one of the Mike Fink keel boats that still remain here on the rivers of America. You can see it only, I believe, by riding the Liberty Bell. I'm not sure if you can see it on the train. I don't think you can. This is a pretty awesome shot right here. Okay, so I just solved the mystery. Reliable shipping of freight, round trip, sightseeing in Kyre within Mike Fink. And this is an old smoking area, but that's the old Mike Fink boat dock right there right in front of the Big Thunder Mountain. You can only see that from this side. So yeah, it seems like you could probably board, and I bet you this is where they let you off. Probably board on the other side or board on this side and it goes back and forth. All right, we're leaving Tom Sawyer Island and heading on to Liberty Bell. Now it's like a little picnic area and you can go and hang out. There's some rocking chairs over there. At one point, this was a smoking section. Yep, right down here. Miner's Cove. Man, I wonder what all the theming was down here. But you can get a pretty good view. In fact, here comes the Lily Bell right here on the other side. There's the Lily Bell. that love these guys right here aren't these so cool and i've seen like footage and, and photos the mike feet kill boats like falling behind this the liberty bell and hitting some of these waves and here's two separate photos of what the mike feet kill boat looked like here see what i'm saying why i got confused because you never see the other dock or any of like the other side of Rivers of America in any of these photos. So that's why I always thought, well, maybe it was just here, but I'm convinced there were, you know, other, other docks. This is what it looks like current day. Another photograph of the kill boats here and they were a pretty good size. I'd say you probably fit maybe like, I don't know, 10 people on them back in 1971, you know. Sadly, they closed April 29th, 2001. 23 years ago. So you guys can see what I was talking about in those photos on how you can either sit on top of the Gully Wumper or the Bertha May, or you sat in the middle, which kind of had like a cabin, inside cabin feel. At the top, you were fully exposed. Wild times. Nowadays, people would probably jump out of those things. Off. All passengers are boarded. Let's go find the remaining either Bertha May or Gully Wumper. Mike Fink Kilboat. Now I have a photo over here of the Gully Wumper taken from this angle over here with the Harper's Mill, which they're, looks like they're doing construction on because they painted over Harper's Mill and on this side too. But this is more or less the angle of the shot. And you can see Harper's Mill to the left and the boat dock to the right. And that's the Gully Wumper. This is what it looks like current day. Oh yeah, 
You can see the steam, the shadow from the steam. We're almost to uh, where the Frank Pink Kill Boat is. Coming up, there's like a pirate's lair over here, and sometimes you can hear it just right, the pirates talking inside, but there's a Mike Pink kill boat right there. Now, that's not the size of the, the kill boats that were on the rivers of America. That's a much shorter scale Mike Pink, but hey, it's a Mike Pink kill boat nonetheless. I wonder what the name of this one is. Is it the Gully Wumper? Is it the birth of May? We might never know. Does it say it on the side somewhere? What do you guys think? Well, there it is. That could fit like maybe four people on. But we all know what happened at Disneyland and why that one closed, don't we? Disneyland's sunk. True story. Like I said, April 29th, 2001 was the last day that the Mike Fink kill boats were operational here. We're gonna pass over and get a really good look here at the dock. All right, here it is. The Mike Fink kill boat dock. It's a little hard to say. But I wonder what they used to, you know, store, if anything, in here. But it was a covered uh, queue. I know this was used as fast pass distribution for a while, but this was it. Still sits here for all these years. And the exit, the entrance, you know, would come up here, right up here. You go in, do your thing, and then you would exit here. Right up here with your exit. I'm glad we did that. And you get to see the uh, the dock one more time. All right now it says a haunted mansion here. But I believe this was like an extended queue. And this is it. Right here. There it is looking down. There was a sign here that said Mike Fink Kill Boats at some time. And now it no longer says anything. People just kind of use it to get out of the sun. But there's the queue and everything. All right, this is a historic occasion. At 303, we should have total coverage of the sun today with the lunar eclipse and we're gonna try and film as much as we can well i guess the eclipse happened filmed uh, pretty much like almost two minutes of it didn't see anything my brother got a really good photo and so did my mom back in mississippi and they even had cloud coverage here in florida sunny florida we didn't see anything 
At least I didn't see anything. I did see a solar flare. You can watch, you can see like a little like half moon. Maybe that was it, I don't know. And the only pirates that are here now, Travis, are no longer river pirates. They are pirates of the Caribbean. Well, this was a very fun day. The solar eclipse was weird. Didn't get to really see anything, but we did get to talk about the Mike Fink keel boats. Got to see Pirates of the Caribbean and Sunny Eclipse and hung out with Travis oh, yeah. today. So see you on the next adventure. Thanks for being my friend and I will see you on the next episode. Like I said, stay weird. Goodbye. <laughs>